Hey, party people. <laughs> it's Dan from Vagabond Buddha. This is Xianghui from Pobo Venture. We are in the Sahara Desert. Yes, in Morocco. Morocco, yes. Yeah, we're in a tent. Beautiful tent. Yeah, nice place. Beautiful desert. Sand. There's sand here. The sand here, and um, after the two day, two night, <laughs> taking the bus for Marrakesh. Just coming here. What a nightmare. This is Dan of Agabon Buddha. Just click the link in the notes below this YouTube video to find out about our Sahara Desert tour or if you'd like to find out more about the laptop lifestyle we live all year long. And then some of people, uh, most of people, they were going back uh, after three days, two nights. They will go back to Marrakesh. That means it's 10 hour um, bus right? or to go to Fez for 7 hour uh, rides you yeah. know? and we decided to take a day to stay in the <laughs> desert in a luxury desert yeah. <coughs> it's 60 euro per night and you can add on dinner, lunch by yourself 10 euro per person so it's very cheap and you, very easy for you to book from the booking.com read the review or you want to know where we stay find out later yeah you can click the link below this youtube video we'll have the place we stay on there you can stay we're going to the sahara desert we're on a tea break and the sun is bright This is Kasa because all this together we call it Kasa. You know Kasa is like a fortified village. It's for living. But when we mean Kasba, we mean the caravans right. Because how the caravans like before, like the trading caravans when they come from Sahara Desert South, so they know this village as a Kasba. Because Kasba means caravans right. Okay? This is what means Kasba. But actually we call this Kasar Ait bin Hadid. English, like Spanish and a little bit in other languages, we learned that just with tourists and it's for that they told you before, it's nomad English. They mean we don't speak in very well, but us, we are lucky the tourists, they understand us, okay? And please guys now, before we, they told you after in the garden, we stop in, like and I will to explain there something that they mean. Guys, my explain now is about the people. That... Guys, is the first village as well in this area. How you know, guys, that is a village? Look at it. That village, guys, with his mosque. Okay? That's they mean when you see just the mosque is a village. Here with us, we have five villages, five mosques. That is the first one. We have other one is there. That is other village. That is other village. That is other village. And, and the last village is in down there. Five mosques, they mean it's the five villages, sir.
for table carpets. Why please? Because here the lady they made two carpets in one, three technical fork and two cane of wood. Look at the side, it's for winter, other side for summer. Oh. It's both sizes, it's summer and winter. But if you mind, to come in touch, please to feel difference between lamb and camel. The touch here, when it's a bit softer, is lamb wood, when it's hard, it's camel. When it's soft, it's lamb, when it's hard, it's camel. And there too, in this carpet, the woman, they made three technical fork. Here is all knot, weaving, embroidery, three technical fork. Then every carpet, the woman they made, they put a bit saffron. Why a bit saffron? Because saffron, they kills the moth. You know the mud? Yeah. Yeah. And this carpet possibility in florid wool, hand wash, hand dry, no problem for the color. It was so windy here, I decided to do a voiceover for you. Anyway, for some reason I thought I would tell you I'm riding on a camel. Uh, that might become obvious at some point. Um, Chung Boy's two in front of me there. Uh, we're headed to the desert camp where our tent is. We'll have dinner, we'll listen to traditional Berber and nomad music. And then in the morning we'll get up and head back to our hotel, have breakfast, and then move to our luxury tent. sunrise uh, on our camels heading back to town uh, and then uh, we'll watch the sunrise uh, have breakfast and then we'll transfer to our new luxury camp which uh, we we're excited about because it had heat in the tent and a bathroom and hot water hard to beat that really day two Sahara Desert we switched camps today this morning but don't film me. Don't film you? Why? Let me get ready. Okay. We just came out from the thing. It's like two days of that shower. We don't show. Now we have a luxury tent. We're gonna have a. We'll show you later. Right? We'll show you later. Yeah. Luxury in the toilet. Toilet shower. and shower inside the tent. And heater and Wi-Fi. Heater. Yeah. Wi-Fi too. Yeah. Wow. Here's our tent. Day two, Sahara Desert. Uh, the first day we were just coming in for dinner and um, spend the night so we decided to spend the full day in a nice tent so the second day we got a nicer tent and uh, this one has a bathroom the other one had an outside bath and toilet shower that's pretty luxury for a 
for a tent. Kind of a behind the scenes things. We found this dune over there. There's no footprints on it. So she's gonna get up there and do a bunch of poses. I'm gonna shoot her from a distance. This is where we are. That's our camp behind us. Other than that, there's not much out here. Love all this sand with no nobody in it. So what do you think that you're here for extra night? Yeah, I love being here an extra night. It's so tired. Yeah, it's a crazy tour. It's good to when you get here to stay another night or two and just unwind. Vagabond Buddha, our Sahara Desert Tour. If you'd like to find out more about this tour or the other eight towns we visited in Morocco and the other 60 odd countries I've visited around the world, just visit Vagabond Buddha or click the link below this YouTube video. Also have a free book there if you'd like to learn about the laptop lifestyle. You have a great day. Thanks for stopping by.